Hi friends, today's activity is called Let's Try That Again. See, I have a bit of a problem today and I'm so hoping that you can help me out. I have two kiddos in my class who are having the worst time with math. I know, it's heartbreaking. And see, one of them always gets a problem correct, but the other one always gets it wrong. And then they argue with one another about who is right. And I've tried to help them and I don't know what to do. I need someone else here. So I thought, who could help me? And oh, you came to mind, because you're really strong in math. And you know, my learning goal for this would be, I can explain to a friend how to fix a mistake. I thought you could help me out with that. Do you think you can do it? Okay, good. Let me show you what happened this morning. Oh, for Pete's sake. All right, so I gave him this problem. There are 10 dogs at the park. Seven of the dogs are brown, and the rest of the dogs are white. How many are white? Right away, Shane said 17, and Kara shouted out three. Then they started arguing about who was right, and I just, I'm just not sure. So what are you thinking? Who, just off the top of your head, who do you think is correct so far? Shane at 17, or Kara at three? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Let's see what they did, okay? So let me read the problem one more time. There are 10 dogs at the park. Seven of the dogs are brown. The rest of the dogs are white. How many are white? So let's look at their pictures of their good work. Because remember, our pictures show our good thinking. So Shane had set, or 10 plus seven. He drew a picture of 10 and then seven more. What did Kara do, friends? Can you describe to me what she did? Yeah, she drew a picture of 10, and then she subtracted and showed that her good thinking with the crossing out of seven of them. Okay, so who is right, friends? Is it Shane or is it Kara? Go ahead and press pause. Talk with your buddy and tell them who you think is right and why you think they're correct. Okay, did you talk about who you think is correct? Who is it? Yeah, I agree. Kara is correct this time. How did you know? Yes, because if these were all the dogs at the park, 10, she drew a picture of the dogs, and then seven were brown, she just crossed off the seven. And so she knew the rest of them had to be white. So I, Kara, excellent job, girlfriend. But what about my friend Shane? What would you tell him? What did he do wrong? Yeah, can you give him some good advice? Remember our learning goal said we're gonna help our friends fix, our, fix our, their mistakes. Yeah, he added a new group of dogs, right? It's like he drew 10 and then he made seven more that were brown. But we were just talking about the group that was already there. So my recommendation would be, oh friend, listen to what it's saying. Some of, so like part of the 10 were, or were brown, the rest of the 10 were white. So does he need to add in that new group? No, he does not. Excellent, and thank you for helping me out and clearing that one up. Should we try another one? Oh, good. All right, this time I had eight horses ran around the field. Two stopped for a rest. How many are still running around? Okay, so right away, of course, you know, like to shout out. Shane said six and Kara said four. Oh, man, I don't know. Are you thinking already? Can you have an idea of who's going to be correct here? Shane or Kara? Oh, oh, that's who you think is? Oh, well, let's find out. Let's see what they did. Let's look at their work. Let's read it again. Eight horses ran around the field. Two stopped for a rest. How many are still running around? So Shane drew this good picture. And Kara drew this good picture. Oh, man, their pictures look awfully similar. So now I just don't know who is correct. Hmm. I want you to press pause. Look carefully and see. Read the problem again if you need to or rewind it. Listen to me read it and see whose picture matches. All right, did you figure it out? It says eight horses ran around the field, two stopped for a rest. How many are still running? Let's see, they both drew eight. It just has to do with how many they crossed out. So yeah, you're right, Shane got it correct. Because he crossed out two. So what advice would you give Kira? Because I see that she crossed out three. That is great advice. Yeah, she should be careful. 
Sometimes we're drawing good pictures and we're so into our good thinking, we get cross out happy, where we cross out too many. And that's what she did, right? Did you notice that? Yeah, she crossed out three. She only needed to cross out two. So good job. Yeah, there were six still running around. Excellent job, Shane. Hey, thanks, friend. I think that's going to be good advice for Kara to slow down and make sure her picture matches exactly. Fantastic. All right, let's try one more. Ooh, this time I gave them a number bond. Very fancy. My number bond has how many is the whole amount? Yes, eight. And what's one of the parts? Six. Excellent. Okay, so my friend, of course, Shane said the answer is five, and Kara said the answer is three. I don't know what to tell you, friends. I Do you notice anything? I know. They're both wrong, right? Oh, for Pete's sake. This is one time where they're arguing back and forth, but then I realize they're both wrong. What am I going to do? Nobody has the right answer. Is it impossible? Oh, let's just do it on our own, okay? You think we can figure it out? Okay. All right. So let's see. They're both totally wrong because five and six, that's too many, and six and three is too many. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. We could write a subtraction sentence. What subtraction sentence could I write to help figure out that missing part? Yeah, I could do eight minus, good, eight minus six equals something. It equals the missing part. What's an addition sentence I could write to help me figure out that missing part? Yeah, I could say six plus, good, six plus something equals eight. All right, I want you to press pause, figure out what the answer is, and then press play. Okay, how'd you figure that out? Did you do it in your head? Use your counting six? Oh, I like it. All right, if you need to press pause and go get a dry erase board and figure it out, you can too. Don't worry, friends. All right, but the answer is what? Eight minus six. Let's see, I'm going to count back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Yeah. And then six plus two, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's also two. All right. Now, Miss Arwood usually likes doing addition to solve any problem because I just feel like addition is the coolest. But subtraction is great too. So that's why my two for the addition came in first because that's usually how I solve a problem. So I know the missing part is two. Okay, thank you. Because Shane and Kara had no idea what was going on in this problem. So by doing it and showing them how they could write a subtraction sentence or an addition sentence to solve it, we've really helped them out. Okay, friend, I am so appreciative that you came here because you fixed these problems today. And you helped fix my problem because I had no idea how to explain to my friends how to fix a mistake. But you had some great advice, so thank you. All right, so I'm going to give you a challenge. Here's your exit ticket. All right, I'm going to read this. Um, it's a little story for you, and I'm going to tell you Shane's answer. Now, I want you to get a dry erase board and a marker. I want you to solve it and then send me a video explaining what he did wrong and what you did correctly, okay? How could he fix his mistake? All right, so, whoopsie, I gave the answer to us. All right, so it says nine friends came for dinner. I only made six cookies. How many more cookies do I need to make? All right, Shane says I need to make two, two more cookies. Is that right? I don't know. Send me a video, show me your good work, and help Shane find the right answer, okay? I'm gonna read it one more time for you. Nine friends came for dinner. I only made six cookies. How many more cookies do I need to make? All right, please help me out, friends, and mostly help Shane. Good luck.